Hello everyone, my name is Andrzej Krzywda, I'm from RKNC and today I would like to share with you how I implemented a very simple audit log uh, on an application which is based on event sourcing. And this application is called RKNC e-commerce and it's a very simple e-commerce platform. So the ticket I've been working on was to basically show the order history using Grace Event Store browser. So I will show you how to use uh, an audit log with our built-in uh, Rails Event Store browser. This is the view of listing the orders. You can see the history link in here. Um, the way the order can look like, this is uh, when you are editing the order, you can add new item, remove items, you can assign to a customer, you can uh, select a discount, and then you can submit the order. So mostly typical stuff for orders. Mm, this is the show order screen. Uh, again, very typical, I would say. Um, we use the concept of CQRS, so we are separating the reads from writes, and what we see in the previous slide in here is basically a read view into the um, system, which overall is very event-driven and almost everything is even sourced. But for displaying this read model, we are using a typical data table in Postgres, so this, those are the um, attributes of this table. On the right side, on the business side of the things, we have several modules. So the order class is actually implemented in several, we call them bounded context in domain driven design. So here is the ordering bounded context where you can submit, confirm or expire an order. You see, you can see there is nothing about adding items or removing items because they live in the pricing bounded context. So adding items, remove items influences the price. So they are here, while here we don't know whether the order is submitted or not, or whether this is expired or not from the pricing perspective, this doesn't matter. So it's nice because we have separated those modules, but on the other hand, I'm switching back to this view, this order view. At some point, we want to show you everything. Apart from showing everything, we also want to show you the audit log. So this is actually what you can see in the application when you click the history button. And this view is actually mm, the default view is generic. You get it for free when you're using Grace Event Store and you, you get it for free. If you have a stream of events, you can display every stream you want. So in here, because we already have this stream for orders, for the orders read model, we basically reuse the stream for showing the, uh, the audit log. So the audit log consists of a number of events. Um, the way the uh, total value, the price is calculated is basically after every event that changes, that impacts, that can possibly impact the price, the pricing module recalculates the order and publishes an event. So that's why you see the order total value calculated almost every time because that's the way it's other events, other facts in the system influence the price. Here is a view when you click on a one event, so you can see order paid. You can also navigate, so you can see the attributes, the metadata, the raw data, and also you can see which event was chronologically before and which, which events can be caused by this one. Also, we use the concept of correlation stream and causation stream. This is all for free if you're using a Rails event store. Um, you can, this is a, documentation part of the browser where you can go to railseventstore.org and see how the browser works. But basically it's very simple because we are just using the concept of a stream, a stream as a collection of events. And as an implementation, how it worked, uh, how the stream is creating, created, um, we are using the functionality of linking to the stream. Uh, so an existing event was published as part of an aggregate, as part of a one bounded context. But then we also, so it's part of one stream already, but we can link it to uh, an, a new stream. So in that case, we are linking to the read model stream. So in that case, I've had to link it to this, uh, I've had to actually add the support for linking the, for having a stream per read model in this application, it wasn't there before. Uh, the way the link, the UI works is basically we have this uh, built in uh, slash res um, routing and in the routes in the Rails application, we just mount this as an engine. So you can see Rails Event Store browser is pointing to res. By the way, this, um, this res browser, Rails Event Store browser is implemented in Elm. Um, here is the read model implementation and you can see uh, the read model actually subscribes to certain events and reacts to change certain values, certain attributes. But this is the part where I actually had to change stuff. So previously the subscribe was just adding the, um, the handler. Now I've wrapped it with this Lambda which first links to stream and then it handles the 
uh, the event. So each event that is uh, adding is given to this read model is first linked to the stream. And linking to the stream is uh, via a wrapper called link event to stream, and we give the or the stream name, which is just a string. And from the event store documentation, you can see we are using the built-in link function. So we say this event ID goes to this stream at whatever version. Um, here is, by the way, for those of you less familiar with events, uh, that's how Rails event store actually um, keeps the events, stores the events. So there are an event state table and events in streams tables, which is just a stream as a string, a position of an event and the event ID. Um, yeah, so this is it. I think, I hope you understood the flow overall. So the events are published, we are then link them to, to a new stream in the read model. And then thanks to this Rails event store um, browser, we get the whole UI for free, which is a great, fantastic, I think it's a great starting point. And eventually probably we will also want to have a customized version of this uh, audit log, but in the first iterations of the system this we get it for free and it seems to be good enough. So if you want to read more, go to blogrkc.com or raceeventstore.org. We uh, have more resources which we, where you can educate yourself about event sourcing, about audit logs, um, about domain-driven design and about CQRS. Thank you for watching and see you next time.